Hey guys, welcome to yet another exciting video. And in this video, I will be talking about must have Dickies workwear pants. Workwear pants are really trendy as of late and Dickies is one of the top contenders when it comes to looks and affordable price. And it definitely suits all of you guys on a budget shopping pants for back to school or just in general. For reference, I am 5'6 and I weigh roughly around 160 pounds and my normal waist size for jeans is 30 or 31. And the three Dickies pants that I'll be talking about in this video are the 874, the Double Knee, and the Carpenter. Let's start off with the Dickies 874. I got this in a size 32 by 30. I upsized because I prefer to have the pants loose on my thighs. This pant seemed to run a little small in my opinion since it's a little tight on my butt area, but it fits all right on my waist. I can definitely get away with a size 32, but if I had to get another pair, I will go for a size 33. The build quality of these pants are really nice. It is made out of 65% polyester and 35% cotton. It is very durable and will definitely last a while, especially if you were to only use it casually. These pants cost 50 Canadian dollars on Dickies website, but I got mine off Amazon for $35 instead. These pants are definitely cheap and affordable in comparison with other workwear pants. These pants have that more casual look to it, which makes it an all-in-one pants that can be dressed up for a modest look or dressed down for a streetwear look. It is definitely an all-around pants and a bang for your buck. These pants I recently got off the thrift and like the 874, I got it in a size 32 by 30. Unlike the 874, this has a better fit on my butt area and I got the loose fit that I am expecting from upsizing to a size 32. The thigh area also has that loose fit that I like. As the name suggests, it has a reinforced double knee in the knee area of the pants for durability. This is especially utilized on jobs that require a lot of kneeling on the ground where reinforced double knees is most required. And like the Dickies 874, it is also made up of 65% polyester and 35% cotton. It also has an extra pocket on the leg. This pair of pants is $50 on the Dickies website like the 874. But on Amazon, the prices can range from $35 to $53 depending on the caller. But I got mine for $10 instead since it was from the thrift, like I said earlier. These pants, in my opinion, are relatively more suited to streetwear outfits. If anything, I think these pants look good with skateboarding outfits. But there's a ton of ways this can be styled for sure. I still have to look further into making more outfits with it. This pair of pants I got off from Grail, and like the two previous pants, I got this in a size 32 by 30. The fit is definitely what I wanted. The fit is the same as the double knee pants, but in comparison with my Carhartt Carpenter pants, the size 32 on this Dickies Carpenter pants is tighter compared to the size 32 on the Carhartt because I still wear a belt on my Carhartt while I wear no belt on this one. This pair has a relaxed fit with a straight leg and 5 pockets. It is made up of 11.5 ounce of denim, 63% cotton, 35% polyester, and 2% lycra. From the get-go, the first thing that I noticed is how thick the material is on the Dickies Carpenter pants in comparison with my Carhartt Carpenter pants. Although, this difference may only be because of how much wear both of these pants got from the previous owners because both of these pants were both used. Like this Dickies Carpenter pants feels a lot more durable. But comfort-wise, I love the Carhartt Carpenter pants more as it feels a lot softer. I got this one off-grailed as I mentioned earlier and for 
This one is used and so I'm not entirely sure if the one on the DK's website is the same as this one. If it is, they have it ranging from $65 to $78, I guess, depending on the color. And on Amazon, I think they have it for $50. With these pants washed off black, vintage look, this will for sure go with the streetwear look. You can never go wrong with these pants and in my opinion, this is probably your best option if you're actually after that streetwear look which is really trendy right now because it achieves two things. First, it's definitely affordable, even brand new and deluxe. It goes with the current streetwear trend. So what more can you ask for? Also, if I were to choose which pants to go for, if I can only choose one among the three that I spoke about, I will definitely go with the carpenter pants. So if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. So until next time, stay safe, stay fitted, peace.